Painter, in this video, we're doing a bonus room right here. We're painting the walls, painting the ceilings, and painting the trim. So I'm gonna show you the process that we actually go through when it comes to painting the trim. So we got all the masking finished off in this room. We've came in here, put our drop cloths down. We don't want to get anything on the floors. So we got the whole floor, it's a hardwood floor, got it all covered with drop cloths. Then we ran around um, frog tape all around the baseboards because we don't want anything leaking onto our hardwood floors. Then we ran nine inch paper with one inch 20-20 tape around that. Masked our windows off with uh, frog tape and plastic. And now we're ready to go. We've got the sprayer set up right here, set on drop cloths, so no overspray will, or any paint will get on anything. We've got a door exiting right here. We're gonna be removing that door, setting it up against one of the walls, and then we're gonna be covering that uh, entry into this room with plastic so no dust uh, will actually travel out into the rest of the house. Make sure you have respirators. Uh, we're shooting the film here so I'm not wearing a respirator because I got to talk but you definitely want to wear a respirator when you're doing any spraying. So Don's got his respirator on, uh, ready to go and here we go. Well, prior to any of the painting we got this all masked off and this is a semi-gloss trim paint on here. It was a latex trim paint. And we went around and checked it really good for any nicks or dings, sanded any nicks or dings, filled anything with spackle, sanded that with just a 3M sanding sponge. And then uh, we went around with our gloss off because we want to make sure that we got a good surface that our paint's going to bite and bond to really well. And so we always use a liquid deglosser. And right here we just used a crud cutter liquid deglosser. We typically have several different options to use. We use an M1 deglosser also, but just make sure you use a deglosser or you gotta sand all your trim to make sure it's gonna get a good bite and you have a rough enough surface. Okay, got our airless sprayer sitting right here, all set up, ready to go. Got our gun. We typically use just a six inch gun extension when we're spraying interior trim, interior trim. And we typically use a, a Rack X fine finish 310 tip. And I like a Graco two finger gun, so here's our standard setup right here with our airless sprayer setup right here. And we typically run it at full pressure, so here we go. Normally it's spraying one side of that door, the other side's masked off, so we don't need to flip the door over. Hi, you reached Brooke. Oh gosh. So now we got this door sprayed. We're gonna begin over here spraying, working our way from top to bottom. So we're gonna spray this window, we're gonna spray the bookshelves, and once we get all the windows done, we'll work our way down and then spray uh, the baseboard trim. Okay, we're getting ready to spray this window. We got it caulked with frog tape. We typically like to take clear caulking and caulk around the tape to make sure there's no bleeding through that gets onto the vinyl windows. The frog tape's used pretty good, and, uh, but we, t we like to actually just use caulking also. And a lot of times there's a separation between the vinyl and the wood where it cracks and the caulking process will fill that. So you get your tape seal and that crack filled all in one. Then we'll spray the window. While the window trim is still wet, we'll peel off that masking. Still wet, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this masking very carefully. And if you don't remove the masking now, once it dries, you could get it bridged from your plastic to your window and it could end up peeling the paint off. So 
yeah, you got to be careful not to knock any debris off onto the window, but this is the process and how we like to do it, and it's what's worked best for us over time. Just moving right along here, got two windows sprayed, working on these other windows. They're gonna be, begin working on the bookshelves and then the baseboards. We are using a product from Sure Williams, it's called Solo, and it's a semi-gloss interior trim paint, and it hangs really well and dries really fast, has a nice sheen, and this is what we like to spray the trim with the best. Continuing right along here spraying, getting a little dusty and humid in here so you can't see as well. So we're going to end this video right now. Hopefully you enjoyed spraying the trim video. I do have a lot more videos out there on how to spray trim indoors. You can go check them out on my uh, 